Hi, my name is Dr. Matthew Perchum Litas. I go by Dr. Perch, and this is our second video in a four part series about an integrative approach to dealing with Lyme. Um, the article um, that accompanies this has a lot more details, so I encourage you to have a look at that in order to get um, some more specifics. And of course, if you're actually dealing with um, an acute tick bite um, or a chronic condition, to actually contact my office or another uh, naturopath that works with Lyme disease. There are a good number of MDs in the area who are also very, very literate in this area and who are very open-minded to really bringing a lot of tools to the table. And that's essentially what my uh, article and my whole approach is about. It's about using all of the different tools that we have. So whether they're considered quote unquote conventional, like using doxycycline, or they're considered alternative, like using a Cowden protocol or the Buner's uh, recommendations, we're really just trying to pull from the best of what uh, modern science and medicine, herbal medicine um, has to offer and bring them all to the table. So um, information about um, how to identify a tick, remove a tick, that's all very standard. We go over it in my article, have a look for some details there. We talk about medical prophylaxis, so what are the options for an adult uh, within the first 72 hours for getting a pharmaceutical dose in? Um, how does that compare to what's uh, in the literature about how to deal with kids under the age of eight? Um, so we go into some of those details. We also mentioned some homeopathics that can be used. And again, we encourage that to be done with the guidance of a naturopath, but there are some simple ones out there if you're familiar with homeopathy that can be safely used in conjunction with conventional medications, herbal medications, etc. There are some poultices that I've recently learned about applying topically immediately after um, a bite. Um, and then we're helping folks um, understand what testing can be done both on the tick itself for what infections it might carry, the Lyme causing infection, um, or uh, what we call co-infections, Babesia, Anaplasma, Ehrlichia, Bartonella. Um, why a person would do those testings, how long they take, where to send them. Um, we also go into um, time frames and considerations for when to do herbal approaches, when to do pharmaceutical approaches, when to combine these two etc. So please click over to the article, get the full story there. If you have follow-up questions, please uh, send those to us. Um, and if you're dealing with uh, an acute tick bite or you're dealing with chronic Lyme or you suspect a co-infection or you need more information, my office is always available as are other Lyme literate naturopaths around the state. Thanks very much.